Welcome back. With summer in full swing, Vermont's lakes, rivers, and swimming holes are getting busy. And here to tell us more about staying safe in the water is Stephanie Bush, Injury Prevention Chief at the Vermont Department of Health. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So how about how many injuries or deaths do we see per year on average that are water related in Vermont? Yeah, so in Vermont, we see about an average of eight deaths per year, and that's kind of across the entire, um, like the whole calendar year. Mm -hmm. And what sort of tips for families who might be looking to stay safe while also, you know, getting out of the heat and getting into nice cool water? Yeah, I'm happy that summer is finally here. Um, so as we're looking for opportunities to cool off during the summertime, there's a couple really simple tips that you can think about that can really help really anybody, both families, um, as college kids are looking to cool off as well. Some of those things include uh, being prepared. So thinking, checking the weather conditions. We know in Vermont with our beautiful um, waterways that the weather can change really quickly. So whether that's a storm that comes through or uh, high winds, and you might wanna kind of shift your plans accordingly. Um, also with that too, if you have uh, multi like one of our key components is uh, never swim alone. So thinking about how can you get other people to come and hang out, have someone who can walk, keep an eye on the kids to make sure that um, everyone's staying safe. And are there certain swimming spots that people should just generally avoid? Yeah, that's a great question. I think uh, so with Vermont, we have a, a variety of waterways that we can enjoy. So we have the lake, we have rivers, uh, we have Lake Champlain specifically. And so uh, just understanding that there any natural waterways has its own risks and hazards. So thinking of some of our watering holes, um, after a, a quick rain, you can have uh, undertoes that can be kind of add additional danger. So just really keeping in mind a general philosophy is um, think of the underwater hazards that might be in your area. Think about safety. What are what's that plan ahead if something does go wrong? Um, and really just thinking about staying safe. And Burlington's beaches were closed this past weekend because of a cyanobacteria blooms. What should people know about staying safe with those this summer? Because we know we're going to have more of them. Yeah, that's um, an unfortunate component around uh, climate change. So there's a, a couple kind of simple tips with uh, thinking of cyanobacteria and the blooms that might be coming both in Burlington and also later this year. So uh, a key thing is pay attention to beach signage. Um, there's a number of programs that are working to make sure to educate folks on the risks. Um, if you have a if you have a doubt, then don't get into the water. One of the key things is looking for any kind of discoloration. We know that, uh, as I said, weather can change really quickly, and also these blooms can happen really quickly before we're able to get notifications out. So, pay attention to the signs. If you have a doubt, don't go in the water. If you see any discoloration, don't go in the water as well. And if you end up realizing that you are in one of the blooms, make sure you clean, um, rinse off thoroughly with uh, clean water and also your pets too if they get into the water. Good information there. We will have a link to more information on our website with this story as well. Stephanie, thanks for joining us. Thank you.